Vegeta cries upon discovering that he will not be the god of destruction. We all hope that Vegeta will become Beerus' successor, but if that doesn't happen, who will take his place? Some fans are greatly overestimating Vegeta, thinking he will replace Beerus, but there are days things capable of preventing that from happening, I will tell you this story, then prepare a snack, something light so you don't get fat, one Big Mac with fries and coke is perfect, sit there, get comfortable, and come with me. Beerus wants a successor, no wonder he trained Vegeta and taught him techniques of a destroyer, such as Superior Ego, Hakai, among others, he became Vegeta's ultimate master, he also provoked Vegeta's wrath regarding his past, and with everything that has happened to planet Vegeta, after all Beerus was involved in all this, and why did he do this to Vegeta, why did he want Vegeta to hate him, could obviously so that Vegeta would be more motivated to surpass him, so that he is a better god of destruction than Beerus was, and of course Vegeta would be a perfect god of destruction, because he understands this thing about planets, space travel, and etc. Not to mention that he destroyed planets to sell then, at the time he worked for Frieza, so Vegeta would be a great god of destruction, and his personality is also perfect for that, he is a cold person, calculating and little emotional, he always carried a lot of pride with him, was always arrogant and confident with his powers, do you want a better replacement than that? does not exist, but he can accept and refuse depending on the occasion, because we must think that Vegeta is very judicious, he will not accept the position if there is not something that will favor him. So he'll only accept it if he's going to gain something from it, and Vegeta wants more in life? Exactly, to get stronger than Goku, all he wants is to overcome this insolent worm, right? So if becoming a god of destruction will make him unreachable for Goku, he'll accept it without a doubt. And we have to think that Beerus is much stronger than Goku, even with Ultra Instinct complete, Goku can't beat Beerus, you know? So thinking from that side, Vegeta can accept becoming a god of destruction. Just as he can also refuse, that's because he has his family on Earth, his wife Bulma, and their kids, Bra and Trunks. And Bra is practically a newborn, Vegeta wouldn't abandon her so soon, because we saw that Vegeta has a huge affection for her, since her birth, very attentive and careful, he even tries to play the tough one, but even he couldn't resist Bra's cuteness. Now we need to talk about one last point, what if Beerus gives up putting Vegeta as his replacement, and chooses another one instead? This could happen to Broly, because in the new Dragon Ball Super, superhero movie, Broly will train on Beerus' planet, so because of his gigantic power, Beerus might want to train Broly, especially since Goku said that Broly can be stronger than him. Beerus, understand? So in that case Broly could be Beerus' new disciple, and consequently the new replacement for the God of Destruction in Universe 7. The tears of the Prince of the Scions will flow, for being replaced, Vegeta's weak point is his ego, and surely his ego will be very hurt if that happens, do you agree? This video is ending, don't forget to rate and comment if possible, a big hug to all, all the best always, see you later, bye.